Hello everyone, welcome to the video. Today's video is a workout uh, working on developing power. Now obviously as golfers we see on the PGA Tour, the LPGA Tour that uh, the longer drivers, they have a lot of power, right? They're explosive, they know how to be efficient and use their body to really deliver the club to the ball and hit it a long way. Today's workout is gonna help you develop that kind of power. So let's get started. Now, we have four different supersets that we're going to do in this workout. Um, each superset is with small amount of reps. So when you're running, trying to deal with power, you're trying to work on power, you don't want to do a thousand reps. You want to do kind of a, a small rep range. Three to five reps is usually more than enough. Um, but I do, and I do expect that we do take a break every time. So you're going to do both exercises. So for instance, the first super superset is box jumps and lateral step ups. So you're gonna do your five box, box jumps, then you're gonna do five lateral step ups per side, then you're gonna take a 90 second break. So you're gonna take a 90 second break where you can get a drink of water, you can uh, just stand there, you can move around, whatever you want, and then you go back in for set two. So you, like I said, each superset has four rounds. There's four different sets of supersets. Um, all of these exercises are meant to be powerful. They're meant to be done with purpose and intention. Uh, make sure that you listen to the comments over the video. So each one of the videos, I'm actually just performing the exercise, but I talk over it. So I'm talking, uh, explaining what to do. I hope you like this. Uh, leave your comments below and let's get started. Okay, superset one is four rounds of box jumps followed by lateral step ups. Complete four rounds, take a 90 second break after each round before moving on to the next superset. For the box jump, start in an athletic position. Load your lower body by lowering your hips down. Maintain your knees over your feet the whole entire time. Explode up and land on the box softly. Step back down, don't jump down, and then repeat the motion for five repetitions. For the lateral step up, begin with one of your legs on the side of a box or a bench. Start with contralateral arms, meaning if your right leg is on the bench, your left arm starts up. Drive your opposite knee up aggressively, powerfully, uh, and swing your arms rotating contralaterally. Bring your leg back down and repeat for five repetitions. Okay, superset two. For this superset, we are going to do four rounds like the previous one. Um, the first exercise is a single leg rotational jump, and the second exercise are empty shaft swings. So we're going to do five reps of the single leg jumps per side, then we're gonna do five reps of the empty shaft swings per side, and then we take a 90 second break. Complete all four rounds before moving on to the next superset. For the single leg rotational jump, begin on one foot. You're going to rotate and jump um, towards the back of the room. Pretend that you're in the front of a box, top left corner, and you're jumping to the back right corner. You're going to land softly and absorb the motion for your hips, knees, and ankles. If you see when I jump here, I land with my um, one foot and my knee is over my foot and my other arms are up to maintain balance. You can do this in contralateral arms, like the step up, or just have both of your arms in front of your body. For empty shaft swings, we want to uh, use a club with no head on it. Uh, if, you do if you don't have this, then you just use a, an iron, a mid iron. And what you're trying to do is swing this club as fast as you can in both directions. 
So we're really working on both directions with this drill. Complete five reps and complete on the other side. All right, super set three. You must be feeling it by now, but let's keep your grinding. Let's keep pushing through. For this super set, we have rotational slams. So a lot of power being driven from the ground, up over our head and slam. The second exercise are split stance rows. Both of these exercises are meant to be done explosively with speed. Um, each exercise, the rotational slams is five reps per side and the split stance rows is five reps per side, per leg. After you've done each exercise and completed the five reps per side or, or per leg, uh, 90 second rest, complete four rounds before moving on to the final superset. For rotational slams, this is a very, very powerful motion. We're gonna start with the ball on our opposite knee. If you notice, I'm facing one direction. Then I bring the ball right over my head and rotate and then slam it down to the outside of the foot on the opposite side. This is supposed to be done with rhythm, but still very, very explosive. So really drive that ball down. I tell my clients to take their anger out with this drill. Complete five reps on each side. For split stance rows, you want to have um, a lunge stance or, or one leg forward and the other knee down close to the ground, but not necessarily right down on the ground. You're going to aggressively row this band as fast as you can, keeping your elbows nice and close, and you're going to do five per side per leg. Last superset, we're here, you've made it. Superset four. So for this superset, again, we're looking at four rounds. The first exercise is an explosive push-up. So we're gonna do five reps of the explosive push-up, and then we're gonna do five reps per side of opposite grip swing. So if I swing like a righty like this, I'm gonna swing like a righty like this. Complete all four rounds. After every round, take a 90 second break, and then your workout is done. For the explosive push-up, you need to anchor a band uh, from above and all you're doing is a push-up and letting yourself come off the ground. Try to be soft on your landing so it doesn't hurt your wrists. Opposite grip swings are great for developing both sides of your body. So you're going to hold the club just like you would any other iron except for you're going to have your hands in the opposite position. You're going to swing five reps on each side, really trying to have a smooth golf swing. You still want to do this with speed and power, but you wanted to make sure that you're under control and that you're doing this um, efficiently and effectively. Five reps per side, and then that's the workout. Great job, you did it. You completed the workout. I hope you feel more powerful. Uh, I hope that you do feel a little taxed and you do feel like you didn't work out. This is a workout that is um, a staple in a lot of my, my athletes' programs. I do use this, this actual workout with some of my clients. This workout is actually from um, my Power for Golf program that you can find on my website. Um, stay fit during the summer. Don't make golf your only means of exercise. Make sure you still do hit the gym or you still do some kind of resistance training or mobility training um, a few times a week to keep your body feeling good throughout the season. I hope you enjoyed this. As always, I'll continue to put out more stuff. I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe, stay healthy.